Being into life is, is, is not fun. Uh, what I mean by that, it, it, it's a lot of work, you know, it's because uh, you, you're walking that fine line, you're dealing with, with criminals, you're dealing with gangsters, you're dealing with guys that are capable of uh, killing. So every day the existence is, uh, you know, do I make a mistake today that's going to get me killed? You can't be scared because if you're scared it'll show through and, and you won't get the job done. You have to be very careful, very sharp, and very cognizant of what's going on around you. You know, I got close to Sonny, I got close to the bosses. So I had guys that were jealous of me. So what's the worst thing you'd be called in the mob is a rat. So I had a couple guys that didn't like me and uh, questioned my, my loyalty. And since one guy was a made guy, they had to have sit downs over it. I had a four and a half hour meeting about you again, again today. What's with, you know, what's with this guy? Look, Donnie, you, you don't understand the ins and outs of anything. Well, you I never sit down and explain to me. I can't explain to you. Oh, I know you can't over the phone, but... All right. Well, who do you believe? You believe him or you believe me? No, you, no, you can't. Your way don't count because I'll tell you why. Why? Rocky already said it. Well, he's good just because he said it first? Your weight don't count, my man. He's a liar a and Mira's a liar. But Donnie, you got nothing to say about it. <laughs> I can take it now. I can tell, tell you he's a liar. One guy's gonna check both of you out. They left. You know they got no problem checking me I out. I ain't well, If you did something wrong in life, it's for me to handle. Well, yeah, when's this thing all gonna end with this? It guy? ain't gonna end. You see, Donnie. What do we have to do? This is your, you gotta come in to see Sonny. One day I got to the club, they call me, come in the back room. We got something to discuss. I go in the back room and uh, I get grilled for like six hours, you know, about my whole background. And, you know, the main thing as an undercover, you can't sweat. You know, if you start sweating, they know that, uh, that you're nervous. But uh, I got through it. If you're called a rat, a snitch, an informant, and things get smoothed over, you can't just blow it off because it's like, how come you're not ticked off? So I had to do something, you know, to keep my respect and credibility. Now I knew one of the rules was that you can't lay your hands on a made guy, no matter what, because that's one of the things that'll get you killed. So <laughs> unfortunately for the non-made guy, I, I, I had to throw him a beating. The years that I spent undercover, I was isolated from everybody in my past. I had very little contact with my family outside of the first eight or nine months. First eight or nine months, I'd get to see them maybe once a week or something. And then after I really infiltrated, uh, for the, the, the last five years, it was maybe once every four, five, sometimes six months, I'd, I'd get to see them. It was difficult because, you know, uh, you don't see your children grow up and all the important things of, of a kid growing up, you miss, you don't see. And the kids don't understand that, you know. they. They know you're working, but it doesn't make any difference to them. They don't comprehend that, uh, that your work is more important than your family life. Not that it is, but, you know, when you're in that type of situation, you, you don't have much choice. When the, uh, when my six-year undercover operation uh, terminated, <laughs> uh, lack of a better word, the FBI went to Sonny since he was my capo and told him who I was because, look, we knew that he probably was gonna get killed, Lefty was gonna get killed. At some point in time, this guy by the name of Tony Miro, who was the first Manano guy that brought me around, was gonna get killed. So the FBI went to uh, Sonny's and told him it was really an undercover operation. They didn't believe it. They kicked it around. They, they sent guys out looking for me. And then it finally dawned on him that I probably was. So Sonny had to go now tell the upper administration of the family and the other families what was going on. And that was 17 days later and they killed him. found him they had cut off his hands and the lesson in that is is that he had introduced me to Boston Florida Lefty Ruggiero he was on his way to get killed and the FBI snatched him off the street Tony Mira got killed about six eight months later I didn't want to see anybody get killed I didn't want to see Sonny get killed I didn't want to see Lefty get killed I mean my job was to put him in jail the only thing I missed like a regret is that the bureau didn't let me get made just think of the devastation if we could have said that they inducted a, a, an FBI agent into the family. The commission decided to uh, put out a contract on me uh, and the uh, offer was $500,000. When the contract was put out, what happened was the FBI went to all the bosses in New York City and uh, 
advise them that uh, it wouldn't be in their best interest to have any of their guys carry out this, this hit. From a law enforcement standpoint, I think uh, the effort was well worth it because uh, it was the first deep infiltration of any mafia family. It was the first time an agent had gotten this close to various mafia families. First time an agent was proposed for membership. And what happened, it started that snowball rolling that they could be uh, brought down. From a you know personal standpoint, it's a lot of sacrifice.